What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about a new A24 film I got to check out just a little bit early and that film is called A Different Man. Written and directed by Aaron Schimberg, this film stars Sebastian Stan, Renata Reigns, Adam Pearson, Liana Runcy, and more. So going into this film, I really knew nothing about it. I hadn't seen the trailer for it. I read a synopsis that I felt was fairly vague. It didn't really give me a full picture of what this movie was all about. I knew Sebastian Stan was at the center of all of it. I knew it had something to do with abnormalities of the skin, specifically around neurofibromatosis type one. And I knew that it came out of Sundance. Other than that, and the fact that A24 was releasing it, I knew nothing about it. So I went in fairly blind. But for the sake of this review, of course, I am gonna be talking a little bit more openly about what this film is all about without getting too far into spoilers of course as of course i'm checking this out just a tad bit ahead of its release with all that said let's get into what this movie is all about the movie opens up and we're introduced to an aspiring actor known as edward played by sebastian stan who has neurofibromatosis the makeup here is really solid right out of the gate giving you that illusion and that absolute be believability that he does in fact have this medical condition and pretty quickly into the movie we learn that this guy is a loner in a lot of ways he feels judged by the world around him he feels like he's being gawked at like he is a spectacle in all the wrong ways and this film right out of the gate heavily tackles the idea of judgment on individuals individuals who have some sort of deformity or abnormality or some sort of medical condition that completely messes up how they look in different ways, adds tumors to their face or any sort of alignment that we would kind of call normal when it comes down to how we look at somebody. This film definitely tackles normal societal beauty standards and in a lot of ways was probably one of the strongest elements of this film. Not too long into the events of this film, he ends up meeting a neighbor that he really grows an attachment to, the character of Ingrid, played by Renata Reigns. And while I found that their relationship was fairly rushed at the very beginning of this film to kind of get things going, I did find it to be charming and I was interested to see where things were going to go. That's when Sebastian Stan's character, Edward, ends up undergoing a facial reconstruction surgery, some sort of procedure that eventually actually completely cures him. And he now becomes this beautiful looking Sebastian Stan. And now he has this newfound confidence, but he's still this really insecure guy and decides to take that newfound confidence and ride it out into this new life, taking on the persona of a whole different man. Not too long into the film, after that, he ends up learning about this performance that's being made about essentially his former life. And now the opportunity has arisen to play a character that is exactly who he used to be, but that's not who he is anymore. He no longer has that deformity and those abnormalities. He no longer fits the role, but he feels 100% that this is the role that's meant for him because that's who he was. And so he tries to take on this role only to find himself feeling like he's putting on a bit of a caricature, like he's putting on a bit of a costume so to speak and that's when things start to get a little bit more interesting with the character of Oswald being introduced here who's played by Adam Pearson a real actor who actually does have neurofibromatosis who actually comes into the mix and ends up outshining him in this role that is literally about his prior life and so now you have Sebastian Stan's character Edward struggling with the notion of no longer being able to take on this role that was perfect for him and the film in a lot of ways really tackles the idea of perspective not only the perspective that we have to have those that we look at around us and how we judge them how we treat them how we fit them into our normal society without them ever feeling abnormal but also personal perspective i think this film does some interesting things when it comes down to the character that sebastian stan is playing here where he is starting to recognize that this character of oswald is able to be incredibly beloved and charismatic and super cool to everybody around him because he simply takes on who and what he is with nothing but charm. He takes it on and, and, and believes in who he is, despite the fact that he does have this medical condition that makes him look different than others, that he may look like a, somebody who's not necessarily beautiful, but everything about who his soul is, is beautiful and is likable and is charming and it is talented and charismatic. And Sebastian Stan, now that he has this beautiful face and that he's no longer what he would call ugly or a beast he is now in a place where he's struggling because it's almost like he doesn't fully believe that himself internally and he sees somebody else who has neurofibromatosis and maybe struggles with the fact that he no longer has it and, and the film tackles a lot of different things about 
you know, perception of others, perception of oneself. And I think that that's where the film really, really shines. With all that said, if you go on IMDb and a couple other places, this film is being labeled as a comedy and thriller. And I'm a little bit torn on that element of the film because I, at times for me, it felt like a drama. At times for me, it felt like a dark comedy. And at times for me, it felt almost slapstick comedy at times. I think that this film does have some interesting themes and messages around, again, perception, judgment of one another, and, and you know, kind of believing in ourselves despite the things that might in our mind hold us back but as you get further into the movie there are so many moments of humor and just offbeat and wacky moments that i felt really undercut the film's overall thematic elements and messages that left me by the end of the film feeling like the film was a bit of a tattered mess i was really impressed with the performances despite the fact that there were some things that felt rushed in the story mostly the relationship between the character of edward and ingrid i felt like their relationship felt really really rushed and her character as a whole wasn't really something I loved all that much. She's an interesting kind of individual in the mix here because she's clearly somebody who almost takes a fascination to individuals who have some sort of deformity to a point where it almost feels fetish-like. But their relationship was a bit of a rushed element in this film and her character as an overall I found to be fairly obnoxious over the course of the film. But I did find the performances to be solid and I think Sebastian Stan gives a really solid performance at the center of this with Adam Pearson being a really interesting performance as well, definitely being my second favorite performance in the film. And I found that his involvement here, this character of Oswald coming in and kind of outshining somebody who used to have the exact same medical condition and is now almost jealous that he can't fit that role anymore. I found that to be an interesting complexity to the film that in the middle section of the film was really captivating. It really had me interested to see where things were going to go. In, and I felt like that was where the film really heavily leaned into its themes and messaging in the right way. But with all that said, despite the good performances, despite solid cinematography and some really interesting themes and messages, by the time I got to the end of the film, it felt like a messy film that just didn't really know what it wanted to be. The last 20 minutes or so just had me scratching my head. There are so many moments in the last portion of this film and at the very beginning of this film that I just felt were edited strangely and ultimately just were really strange writing choices. There were so many moments in this film that I just genuinely kept thinking, okay, I'm starting to buy more into this. I think this is really leaning into some heavy, you know, subject matter. It's touching on some serious things. It's making some pretty valid points about society and beauty standards and different things like that and how we should view ourselves despite what we may look like or who we may think we are and different things like that. Ultimately, for it to just kind of unravel at times and just feel like it's trying to lean into absurd and lead into this ridiculous side of like a kind of a comedic approach here that just ultimately, like I already said, it felt like it undercut what the film was trying to do. I'm a little torn on it overall. I, I wish I enjoyed it more. There were elements about this film that I felt were wildly ambitious and well made in a lot of ways. There were parts about this film that I did find to feel like really commendable. There were parts about it that made me feel like, okay, I want to like this film more. And a lot of that really comes down to a lot of the filmmaking, the makeup, costume design throughout the course of the film, uh, some of the musical score elements in there, those performances at the center are, are the core element. And there were just so many elements about this film that, that just genuinely had me like on board only for there to be even more so, if not equally, so many other moments that just had me like, ah, oh, dude, I don't think I love that scene. I don't think I like that sequence. That line of dialogue was strange. That interaction between these two characters was incredibly strange there's a, a sex scene in this film that has to do with a character wearing a mask that just came off strange and it just consistently had me scratching my head questioning does this film fully know what it's trying to say or, or maybe i'm just oblivious to what this film is trying to say at times and when i did feel like i understood what the film was trying to say Again, it just felt like it was undercut by some sort of wacky scene or some sort of strange dialogue or humor that just did not work with what this movie was trying to say for me. So that's going to be my thoughts on A Different Man. I wish I had more to say about it, but I do think it's a film that's going to challenge viewers. I think some people are going to think this movie is trash and not like it at all, but it's one of those films that I was so in the middle on that I could see that it's artsy enough and, and just kind of like ambitious enough in areas that I can see that there is going to be an audience that, that will probably enjoy this. But unfortunately, I just didn't fall within that category. This is not a film I can say, hey, you need to rush the theaters to go see. In the world of A24 films, this is definitely on the lower tier of A24 films that I've seen that I just 
again I, I wish i enjoyed it more I, I, there was elements about it that i think really were strong but it just it just didn't stick the landing for me and it just left me kind of feeling like uh did that film really know what it was trying to be i definitely look forward to hearing all the various opinions on this though as the film starts to roll out into theaters it is going to be getting a limited theatrical release right after this video goes up essentially in the next couple of days and over the course of the next few weeks we'll start to get a wider release and once it gets a wider release and i start to see more opinions on this i will be very curious to hear people various opinions on this but uh, a different man for me just had all the potential to be a really great film with some great themes and some great messaging and and something that could tug on the heartstrings but it's offbeat comedic elements just oftentimes held it back from from being great and ultimately just kind of made it feel like a joke of itself in all the wrong ways so a big thanks to you guys for watching let me know your thoughts down below on a different man is this a movie you're planning on checking out if you already saw the movie and that's what brought you to this review did you like it did you not like it whatever the case may be leave any and all comments down below and i'll see you beautiful people in the next one Bye bye